What's up Kai Soto fans? This is the real Kai Soto fan channel KSF. This is about all positive opinions, rumors, news about Kai Soto. Let's get into it. The enduring supremacy of the Gilas Philippines basketball team in Southeast Asia just crumbled after Indonesia conquered the Philippines by way of an 85 81 upset in the 31st Southeast Asian Games last May 22nd, 2022, only to be followed by a blowout 102 81 loss to Japan, first time in 12 years of dominance last July 19, 2022. For the past six days since those remarkable losses, the demand for the current Gillis coach. Chot Reyes to resign mounts the former Philippine Basketball Association Commissioner and sportscaster Noli Iyala said Chot saying that Phil M. Utah Jazz player and NBA sixth man of the year Jordan Clarkson has committed to play in the upcoming fourth window of FIBA World Cup Asian qualifiers after the team failed to reach the FIBA Asia Cup quarterfinals, that it was just another hype and one of the reasons why the fans are very much frustrated. But if the hype of Coach Chot Reyes really came to fruition, the hype of SBP and Coach Chot on having Kai Seto and Jordan Clarkson playing for the team in the next World Cup qualifiers, it will be a win-win situation. First off, since the legit center that the Philippine team have for now is definitely Kai Soto, so it is plainly just right for him to be the main center so that should be an unquestionable first five if I may say so. Clarkson and Soto can be the best duo in the team. Meanwhile, they can both share being the lead scorer as both can be a threat near the rim and both has outside shooting. They can make plays around Jordan Clarkson and Kai Soto, allowing them to be a formidable duo is a force to be reckoned with. Now, Kai Soto going back in the NBL is getting near as well. He is expected to go back with the 36ers for the 2022-2023 season. The interesting part is Kai will be main big man of the team since Cam Burstow and Isaac Humphreys are both looking forward to depart from Adelaide 36ers. This would mean Kai Soto could get more playing time and ball touches as he will be the main big man of the team. In addition, with his considerable workouts and training with numerous NBA teams before and after the draft, Kai Soto might have improved his basketball skills anyway. One will see in Adelaide 36ers roster the only center position is Kai Soto. Hopefully coach CJ Britton create more plays that involves his position and skill set. That way he can impact the team more than he got the last season in terms of playing time and ball touches. So, so you mentioned Kai, who a lot of eyeballs were on him during the year and then you know, nominating for the draft, wasn't successful in getting a, an NBA spot. So um, from the sounds of it, he's coming back to Adelaide for next season? He is, he is, yes. So, uh, so yeah, he's, um, 
obviously it was unfortunate for him not, not to get picked up. Um, but in saying that, and I'm sent a text message on draft night. Just again, as he would have got a lot of messages, and you, you don't want to be on your phone or, or around people, and you know you want to reset and gather yourself and understand where you're at. And it's while it's a, a moment that everyone sees, it's also there's many ways to get to the NBA. We see it all the time with just Jack White just getting there now, right? So there's, there's different ways to get there. It's not only one way. Clearly, everyone wants to have that moment. I mean, I had that moment. I wasn't even there. And so I was I was sitting in a seat, and when my name was called, I was on the phone actually to the club, to the Blazers, and talking to them. They're like, yeah, well, sorry, we missed you on that slot that we were supposed to get you at, um, but um, we got you. And in the end, it's like, you know, ultimately, um, everyone has different goals and dreams and cars and still to get to the NBA. And, you know, I, I thought he was two years away from doing that. Clearly, he put his his name in and he couldn't get it out and it, it played out the way it did. And right now, it's focusing on how do you help the 36ers uh, and get yourself back in a spot where now everyone's looking at you that uh, you're ready now. Yeah, because I thought the plan was for him to play a couple of years in the NBL and, and then nominate, but he seemed to go a little bit early. Is what happened there? Um, I mean, there was a. I got win afterwards on a few different things, but I, I don't really want to speculate. I just think that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Un, it was. Un, I think there was a few things that happened, and from his, from him going to high school in, in the states and coming over here, um, and obviously having his name attached to the uh, Ignite team. Um, G League night, um, so there was a few things that probably played in not in his favour at that point in time. But I'm not sure that even he was aware of that um, yeah, okay. probably when he was here. Okay, okay. So there's a few rules in there, uh, particularly with the G League sort of stuff, that may be a little bit unclear with eligibility and things like that. Is that roughly what we're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. We hope to see this type of plays more often. As we can see here, Kai sets a screen for the inbound player to be able to get the ball while Sunday Detch goes to the opposite side of the three-point lane and Daniel Johnson set the screen against Kai's defender. Mitch McCarron throws the ball and runs to set a back screen for Kai to be able to run free all the way to the basket as the inbound player passes the ball to Daniel Johnson setting up the good lob pass for the poster perfect alley-oop dunk. Watching. Cooks is over there to provide that insurance around the rim. Well, hello. What a beautiful underneath that of his play. Here are some other plays that Coach CJ should be taking advantage hey, of. I hope to make really hook. Oh, I'm in there. Let him play like last quarter. I want to get back to what life was like as a Washington general as oh, well. Man. We'll get to that shortly. Oh, Karen upstairs for Soto. Beautiful face. And his season. Firstly, here's Kai Soto. Set up from Mitch McCarron. Robert Frakes, fifth in the competition for points per game. Fifth in the competition for threes, mate. Just like that. Nick Marshall with the ball carrying duties for Adelaide at the moment. So he's a good tourner. The only player out there for Adelaide yet to score in the game. Manny Malou also hasn't scored but sits for the moment. Here's Soto close to the rim and he doesn't need to elevate too far to have a hand up and throw it down. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's a big boy. Next. In the corner. No word on the NBA. I mean, summer league, nothing. Well, that certainly was the, the plan coming into his next star's contract to begin with in Cairns. The start of this season with Adelaide. Soto from long range, second straight game, he's drilled one from three-point territory. 
Game high 29 point lead now for the Adelaide third. I hope you like this video. By all means, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for more updates. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.